Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sidental Vlogs and today's video is gonna be very important. So has it ever happened to you that you have done any extraction of suppose a third molar and uh, after extraction on the third day and the fifth day or the fourth day patient comes to you and patient tells to you sir जो दांत आपको बोला था वो आपने निकाला नहीं कोई दूसरा दांत निकाल दिया सो इट्स क्वाइट कॉमन इन डेंटल प्रैक्टिस वी इंकाउंटर ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड वी ऑफन ट्राई टू थिंक अरे ऐसा नहीं है वी ट्राई टू ओवर एक्सप्लेन द पेशेंट एंड समटाइम्स देर आर सम काइंड ऑफ माइनर फाइट्स एज वेल लाइक आई हैव ओवर द ईयर्स आई हैव बीन लिसनिंग टू द डेंटिस्ट दे मैसेज मी लाइक ऐसा ऐसा हुआ क्लिनिक में सो वी नीड टू बी वेरी कॉशियस before doing any kind of exodontia in any patient and we need to explain to the patient ki this is the culprit we need to show the radiographs which is very important along with that it's very important to know the deleterious habits of the patient whether the patient has any kind of ha- smoking smoking habit or gutka chewing habit see what usually happens when we extract the tooth suppose a third molar you did a normal uh, mesioangular impaction or a distangular impaction it's very common to endure 2 3 days of pain and then the pain slowly subsides but usually what happens is ki pain patient will be on medications for 3 days properly and on the from the fourth day patient will start again smoking and chewing all those kind of hard food items so patient usually get pain on the fourth or the fifth day they come to you and they they check their teeth okay some other carious tooth and the pain was there patient will tell you they blame you that you have extracted a wrong tooth doesn't happen all the time but patient do come so when patients come we see that wherever extraction socket was done we take again the x-ray and everything is fine we try to explain it so there are chances that the patient is having a dry socket in the tooth dry socket otherwise known as alveolar osteitis so what we have to do how we have to reassure the patients from the very beginning of the process of extraction from the very beginning you have to say to the patient this is the culprit tooth you have to write it in the prescription which is very important after that how to manage this so whenever a patient is coming what i usually do is initially in the initial years of practice i used to give local anesthesia and then i used to cure the socket and then i used to suture it back again but until now like all these years i was doing this but 2 3 years um i have started giving zinc oxide original pack to the patient which is very really beneficial to the patient so what i usually do is first of all i see whether there is a necrotic yellowish debris around the tooth or not where the extraction was done so usually patients think it's pus which is coming out and this is not the matter and patient will tell also that sir koi root to nahi chhut gaya any root is left or not so that's not the usual case what we actually do is in order to cure the dry socket you have to very nicely clean the socket with saline or betadine whatever you are having in your cleaning after cleaning you have to induce little bit of bleeding with some probe and just clean it again and you can make a fresh paste of zinc oxide eugenol powder eugenol and some amount of cotton make it like a lump and you can insert into the extraction socket and to your astonish- astonishment patient will call you at night and they will say that pain has gone complete relief so what does that eugenol do it uh, induces an obturnant effect on the patient socket means what does it do it like we apply balm when we are having headache the same thing it does it produces an obturnant effect and with time that effect is for a very long time and with time patient you give antibiotics pain killer to the patient and the pain subsides so another way of doing it is you can also put alveolar gel to prevent is alveolar gel you can use which is uh, available from septodont company we can always use after extraction which prevents dry socket and we patient had a complaint of not able to open the mouth properly because of the muscle spasm and all so already a tooth is extracted patient is in pain then again we are curating it and giving more trauma that i don't feel like doing it right now so what usually i give this is my ramban technique which i use so another thing we can give some medications proper medications like i usually give augmentin and i give metronidazole 600 mg augmentin 625 mg two times for five days then along with that i add once daily of metronidazole 600 mg extended release tablets for 10 days and painkillers for five consecutive days two times daily along with gas medicine so this gives excellent relief to the patient and uh, 
whenever a patient come walks in like this like coming and blaming you have to reassure the patient that the extraction was done nicely and if possible take a radiograph show to the patient if there is nothing it happens one in hundred cases it happens and it has happened with you don't worry it'll be all right so we have to reassure the patient for that so that's all with today's video i hope you like the video and uh, if you can follow me on instagram my insta id is sci underscore dental you can subscribe to this channel as well till then take care bye bye